Hey guys, uh, I just took a nap so the bun's a little floppy today, but I wanted to show you what I got from Chuck E. Cheese with my winnings. For my birthday, I wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese and I wanted to go to Build-A-Bear and I have my Build-A-Bear and I took a little bit of footage when I was there. Uh, I haven't looked at it yet so I don't know if it's enough to actually like make its own vlog. We'll have to see. The past few days I haven't done anything for YouTube. I filmed a lot for my birthday and the day after, but I haven't gone through it, I haven't edited it, I haven't done like anything that I probably should be doing with it. So I have some work to do, but that's alright. I've had a very fun few days. Uh, it's been nice to just enjoy life a little bit. Today I really thought like all day I'm gonna work really hard, I'm gonna film some videos, I'm gonna go through all of my previous footage and put together some stuff, but instead um, I watched YouTube videos until about noon and then I took a nap and now it's 4.30. I don't know what happened, but either way we're here now. Tricky Cheese had a play all day for $20 deal, which was very exciting. Me and Monique went. I really wish she was still here so we could show you what she got, but she left already. But she got two squeezables. They both smell like grape. She got the narwhal and the sloth, and they're both really cute. When we went to Chuck E. Cheese, we had a really fun time, but they shut down our game. They said it was because it was like yelling at them, but we were just playing it and nothing was wrong with it. So they just shut it off because we had to keep asking them to refill the tickets because we won all the tickets. So that really sucks because half of the games were broken there. It seems like every time we started to like a game and we started to play it, it would break. Or games that we haven't played before we try to play and then they break. It was kind of a bummer. The last time I went, I went by myself and I had a blast. I was there for eight hours and it was so fun. But I played pretty much only Operation for eight hours. But some of the other games I played, I enjoyed and I didn't come across like a single broken game. And then this time it seems like everything was broken and they weren't doing anything to fix it. And it was really aggravating. But I don't know, I feel like in my head I put too much emphasis on my birthday and I felt like everything had to be perfect and life isn't like that but it just annoys me when someone gets paid this is their job they are getting paid for this and they're not fixing things that are broken it just bothers me because nobody forced them to be there anyway I'm gonna show you what I got if you watched my August favorites I got this Okay, I'm gonna tilt the camera. This giant sloth, and he is wonderful. He was only 8,000 tickets, and I was really hoping he was gonna be there again, but he wasn't. He was gone, and there was just a giant gap where he was. They had like three stuffed animals. They were missing a lot of stuff. I just, I don't know. I really wasn't impressed this time. I'm sad about that. They had a lot of spots where the prizes were missing. I might not go back to that one. I might have to go to a different one. It was just a little underwhelming there, especially because the, the time before when I went, I had a blast. I ended up, I don't remember how much, I think I ended up with around 4,000 tickets. So I got Cookie Cookie, the little Shopkins stuffed animal. This is super cute. I've never... I've never opened a shop. Well, yes, I have. I opened a couple several years ago. We were at Bath and Body Work. Nope, I do that every time. We were at Bed Bath and Beyond, and they had a whole like section of Shopkins that were really reduced in price, like really clearanced out. This was before like the big craze of blind bags. It was. Uh, many many years ago and I was like oh cool I've never had a Shopkins before so I bought a couple of those and then I kept them in my bedside table until we had the estate sale and I put them in the estate sale so I don't have much experience with Shopkins but I do love PS toy reviews and they open a lot of Shopkins so for me more this is like 
PS Toy Reviews merch because I love them very much. I watch them all the time. Um, I fall asleep to PS Toy Reviews every night. I watch them constantly. And it's cool because, like, this is all, like, sewn in, so it has a lot of different textures, and you can put your hands in the hand holes and have little feet. I just really like it. It's a very nice textural thing. I like this toy a lot, and also Cookie Cookie is adorable. That was the, like, main thing I got with my tickets. I also got a Squishy. It got is called Squish. It's cute. It's a little, like dog thing and he's like a bread I'm gonna take him out and actually like touch him what does that smell like I don't know so it's like a little puppy and look at his butt I didn't see that that is the cutest and he's like sliced bread and he's got butter on him I mean he's not super squishy he's all right does this say like slow rise that's not slow rise at all it honestly feels more like a stress ball texture than a squishy texture but he's adorable and this feels really nice again with the textures I love a good texture and I got two of these blind bags uh, series 11 Playmobil figures I got two of the pink ones after I got home I really wish that I got a pink and a blue one but I didn't I just got the pink one but it's so cute it's like Legos but Playmobil, Playmobil, Playmobil brand. So I'm really interested to see how this goes. I really want the little like Christmas girl. She's so cute. These will be fun. And I have a couple other blind bags that I want to open. So I might make a video soon opening these and a Crash Bandicoot figure and a Littlest Pet Shop Lucky Pets figure. PS Toy Reviews just posted a video on that and I love it very much so I bought one and they have poodles in it they have bunnies in it I think they have a couple really really cute pets in the littlest pet shop blind bags and I used to love littlest pet shops I had very many of them and then we moved and I didn't bring any with me oh this happens every time I still have a ticket this one is the charms mini pops Oh, it's Tropical Fruit Punch. I asked her to get me the strawberry one, and she got me the Fruit Punch one, and I really don't like Fruit Punch. That sucks. Well, it's a lollipop. And the final thing that I got with my tickets is this, because it reminds me of Taylor Swift. It's like a little butterfly maze thing, and it looks super fun, so I'm probably going to play it sometimes I don't really understand how you win though like there's no real end and no real beginning so I don't know where you start or end but it's super cute I had five leftover tickets so I gave them to Monique she had I don't remember how many like 3,000 or 4,000 tickets and of course like after I picked out all my stuff and it was her turn I saw this and I was like oh man I really wish I saw that so she gave it to me, she got it for me. And it's a little unicorn keychain thing. So I keep it on my bunny backpack. I think it looks really cute there. So that's really, really kind of her to give that to me. Yeah, I know she got two squeeze moles And there were these little like skeleton figurines. She got one of those, it was really cute. It was a dinosaur skeleton. We were really hoping the, the sloth was still there because that's a really big prize but they didn't have it and at least they had some stuff but it was just a little underwhelming being there I was hoping there would be more I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit better but oh well I'm actually filming this with my vlogging camera I'm gonna have to see which one I prefer whether I like it vlogging camera or my DSLR I usually point my DSLR down at me but then you can't see the skeleton guys, and I think they're cool. So I tried this. I don't know if I like it. I don't know, because the window's in the way. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? I got a new pillow. I got this from Target for $5. It says Bill, and the back is really pretty. Five bucks. And it's so cute. I got a little crafty in this little corner. I have a... Oh, yeah, that's like all over my bedding now sucks 
I got this garland that you can't even see and it stained everything from my hands to my shirt to the wall to my bedding now. It's all stained purple. It sucks. I'm thinking that with every season or holiday, like I change my back background a little bit, change the garland around the chair and put something here maybe. I think it would be fun to do that. And I'm excited for Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas. This is like the best time of the year and I'm super pumped that it's coming. But also it sucks that I have no money. Usually like people are hiring for the holidays and the nice thing about that is since I'm moving, I don't want to commit to like a actual job, but holiday jobs, you get let go, I guess like it ends in January anyway. So even if I'm only doing it for like a month and then we end up selling the house, it's a seasonal job anyway. Maybe soon those jobs will start opening up and I might have to get one of those. Just a part-time like retail job. I don't want to, but the house isn't selling as quickly as we thought it would because our agent sucks. So you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. I didn't vlog at all in Chuck E. Cheese. We were having fun and my hands were full and I didn't really feel like taking out the camera. I hope you don't mind that. I mean, if you like games and you're too cheap for Dave and Buster's like me, just go to Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, there's a lot of adults there. I didn't feel so weird being there because there were a lot of adults. I mean, granted, they brought their kids, but they were playing too. It wasn't just the kids playing, and everyone looked like they were having a lot of fun. So you weren't, you know, the only big person with all these teeny tiny screaming children around you. It was, it's, at least mine is pretty good. So, and now that the kids are back in school, it's nice and calm during the day. There are still some kids there, but my mom came to Chuck E. Cheese last time because she thought I died because I was there for eight hours and I couldn't hear my phone ringing. So I never answered her phone call and she thought I died. But she looked around and she was like, wow, I'm like really shocked. It's not too, I mean, it is loud, but it's not, the kids aren't screaming. It, nobody's like unruly there are parents playing everybody's really working together and everything and it's really nice and she noted that it wasn't too crowded and in maryland the one that we had was always packed but yeah there aren't too many kids i mean we're in florida everybody's dead here so there aren't many kids in florida anyway you can't afford a house here uh, because everyone has two part-time jobs just to pay the bills, so nobody has money to take their kid to Chuck E. Cheese anyway. Man, Florida is just miserable. Nobody's got money for Chuck E. Cheese. I mean, I don't have money for Chuck E. Cheese, but I put it on a credit card. I still want to have fun. I hope you enjoyed my video. Look forward to a haul of all of the things that I got that I bought for myself for my birthday. I didn't get many gifts. I got gifts from two friends, which was very nice of them. Uh, and my parents gave me money, so my mom and I went shopping. So I'm going to show you what I bought myself. And um, a blind bag unboxing will be coming soon too. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video.